You have seen a logic analyzer operating in simulation mode. Today we're going to show you a real logic analyzer. First, we're going to connect signals of our circuit to the logic analyzer. So we're going to connect four pins for the left motor and four more pins for the right motor and the two pins associated with the sensors. And we'll connect these ten pins to the logic analyzer. Okay, this is a window showing you real-time recording as the motor is spinning. Both sensors are off, so they're spinning in the same direction. These four pins right here, these four signals, represent one motor, and there's the 50101. And these four pins are the other motor, and there's a 5. And so as it turns, we can see that the two motors will go through the pattern that we've programmed. This is a hardware physical way to test that the system is operational. So John, what would happen if I were to press the left bumper sensor that is detecting a wall? You see that what will happen is the speed will drop in half and the one motor will turn in one direction and the other motor will turn in the other direction. Push the other button. Okay, let me try the other one. Again, pushing the right bumper will rotate one wheel in the opposite direction and drop the speed in half. Okay. So we verified the functioning of, the, of our logic both physically by observing it and also by monitoring it in a logical logic analyzer. One last thing to notice is that the time between steps is exactly 20 milliseconds. And this 20 milliseconds was created with the cystic periodic interrupts.